Hey guys, this is John. It is Friday. I am recording. You're going to be watching this on... I bet he's going to play Bishop G5, I was just going to say. You are watching this on a Saturday, and I'm playing NECF Schools in the one-minute pool on ICC. This guy is a super sharp player who I've played before, and yeah, to keep my wits about me because this guy is a very good tactician. His name is Jorge Samor Hasbun, and he's dangerous. We'll go here and attack his bishop. If his bishop moves, I can take on e5. It's nice. So I don't expect him to move it. Yeah, he castles instead. Uh, let's take, and then just go queen e7. Maybe I can win this pawn. Who knows? If he plays queen f4, I have bishop g7, which is nice. But actually, I am going to win this pawn. It's, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe he has rook d6. He had rook d6. He didn't see it. Okay, now I'm threatening bishop f4, so this will slow him down. Um, queen f3. Okay, let's trade. At least I'm frustrating some of his ambitions right now. You can really take that, huh? Okay, let's just go here. He'll probably evacuate the queen, I'm guessing. Queen e3. Yeah, he does. Let's go here. The bishop is well placed on this square. Um, hmm. Guess we'll just swap. We'll swap some things. Do this. And then go here. Check. Go this way. Uh, okay. I'm gonna annoy him. Check. A Time. Bit. Check. Uh, I was actually gonna deviate. Oh man, he claimed a draw. Alright, whatever. <laughs> so I actually gained a couple rating points from that. I had a good position that game. I kind of messed it up. Let's do this. Let's go here. And we'll take. This is kind of a boring line, but, you know. Check. Like I said, I'm trying to curtail his ambitions as a attacking player. It's just, whoops, that dropped F2. That was not a smart decision. Um, I just always feel like he's trying to maneuver the game into something super sharp. So I think I have an advantage against him if the position ends up um, more slow. So that's why I'm playing this way. Okay, let's go here, try to get into the square. Um, all right, let's just do this. If I played B4, I was worried about A5. So let's not do that. Okay, let's go here, B4. Now if A5, I have uh, this. Okay, this is a case in point of something he's good at. <laughs> Just do this. Rook a5 is a good idea. Yeah, I'm struggling a little bit this game. Check. I'm going to run into problems. Check. I already have huge problems. This one's not looking promising. Mm-hmm. Yep, well, that'll do it, probably. Uh, okay, Time. let's just go here. Check. I don't know what else, what else to do. My king is caught in the open. My position Check. is awful. Okay, let's go here. Check. Ah, uh, yeah, that that will lose us the game. All right, back in the pool, playing Love V. That's a pawn. A lot of people have been giving me free pawns when I open with knight f3 these days. They play either e5 or g5. It's like bizarre. So yeah, I'm up I'm up a solid pawn at the moment. Let's just do this and then uh, maybe give check. it a check. He could play bishop e7 and sack another pawn. Looks like he's going to do that. Put the bishop on g2. As long as I keep e2 guarded, I should be okay in this position. If queen c8, I can play bishop h3. Let's back the knight off. I think that would be good. And then bishop g2. Need to complete my development. This is a good good start to doing so. And let's castle now. Maybe c7 at some point will be strong. Uh, okay. I'm not concerned if he takes on e2. He can feel free to do that. So, All right. Nice that I can take with the queen. Maybe taking on f6 was also good. Let's go here and try to trade the dark square bishop. Okay, now we'll do this move. I think I stand a very good chance of, um, yeah, now just consolidating and winning. Okay, I'll do this. Attacking his rook. He goes there, I have this move, and bishop d7 on the next one. So this is practically decisive. Don't want to get my rook trapped is the only thing. Check. Yeah, this is over. He resigned. All right, 2456. Hopefully we can get any CF another time or two. 
in this position or in this session. Bishop g5, nope, queen b3. Okay, it's an unusual one, I'd say. I don't know. I want to take on c4. I think I missed my opportunity to do that, actually. I should have done it on the previous move. Okay, I'll grab that pawn just because you can take on d5 now, maybe a couple times. And uh, my rook in the corner was hanging after a subsequent knight takes d5. Okay, let's do knight e8. Still, he can do this. This is annoying. Okay, now I'm scrambling to defend. I think I am defending. Um, so he's threatening e6 now. And maybe this move? Queen b4 is an idea. Check. Let's give it a check. This move saves me. And I think I win a piece now. Because he has to trade queens, Check. and then I can take on f5. And this remains defended. So let's do this. Ah, knight g6. Knight g6 is a possible threat. Doesn't hurt me too bad, though. So let's go here. Check. We'll just Check. chase this king around a bit. Then we will go here. And this. Instigate a trade. Uh, that's not good for me. Let's do Check. this again. Check. Just to annoy him. Time warning. Really, you're gonna go there. Doesn't that get checkmate? Checkmate. That's a mate. Okay. Took away his flight score on g3. Yeah, he definitely should have repeated. Just king back to e2. Well, he didn't give away a pawn this time. Uh, let's do this e3 specialty line. And a4. I like this variation for white. It's simple to play, especially in a blitz and a bullet game, where speed is the most important thing. You want a system that you can just easily rattle off. Okay, I'll go over here, and if he goes bishop g6, I'll go h4. This is quite cramping to his position, in fact. Uh, yeah, like now I get to take this guy and take on e6. And he can't castle, and his structure has been ruined. Yeah, this is uh, not going to end well, more than likely. I think I'll castle queenside, even. Okay. Let's go king e2. You can just park the king on that square. Try to go rook h8. He can't move his knight because I take on c6. Even better. Now I'm headhunting his queen. Check. <laughs> That's an interesting way to just give up the game. Queen takes f2 and resign. All right, so back in the pool. Let's see if we can play any cf again. He is in the pool, playing Shining Path at the moment. We'll watch this game for a second, so long as we're waiting. Yeah, I mean... He, he's interesting because tactically he's very strong, and I think he has potential to be speedy, but I've also no, noticed that he um, will sometimes slow down quite a bit. Like you saw in that game, they were on the only move 30-something, and he had less than 10 seconds. So um, maybe I can somehow use that to my advantage. Let's go bishop g6 just to trade on our terms. Mossingen, that's like a game of a rifle, isn't it? All right, let's take on e4 and settle him with an isolated pawn. Let's go rook e8. We'll see if he'll take on g6. I really want him to take on g6. I like this pawn structure. I just have a fondness for that pawn structure. This rook defends e8 still, so uh, not a big deal. And I think I'll play a6 just to stop a rook trade, and then rook takes a7. Now I'll maneuver this knight into Check. d5. Um, let's not trade rooks. If he goes knight d2, I want to go bishop b4. Is how I want to play it. F6, I'll play king f7 next move. And then he can bring his knight into c4, this is true, but bishop c7, his knight doesn't have uh, any tremendously useful squares to go to. So I'm avoiding a trade. He's, he's doing this so he can play g3 next move. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Now he's probably going to play d5. It does not. Okay, now I can go and blockade the d5 square again. Or maybe I can send the knight to, to b5 and attack this, and he's tied down at this, at this point. Ah, uh, this must lose something. Check. How could this not lose something? Well, let's do this first. Check. Then we'll go b5. I'm just amazed that uh, that king c4 move actually worked out for him. Okay, let's go knight in. Let's take... Knight back. Hmm. Check. 
Let him take. He'll take on f6 with the bishop. I have a knight, which is huge in bullet. Oh, he actually just hung his bishop. I didn't see it. Okay, hung his rook. Okay, got a win on that one. I'm 24-86 after that game. Let's check out some action again. Who is Shining Path? Don't recognize that player. Doesn't say. Anonymous Grandmaster. Ooh, that game came down to the wire. Now I'm playing Shining Path. Ah, this line. This is an interesting variation. Uh, okay, let's just go g3 and Fianchetto the bishop. I think that's a good strategy against this particular line. Let's go here. They can play knight f6, though. Well, they're going to let me obtain a big center, it seems. Maybe here and then e4? Is what I'm thinking. He really wants to stop that. In between move. Got him with an in between move. He does have compensation on the light squares, though. Not gonna lie. So, let's guard the d pawn. I still would like to play e4 sooner or later. a5 might come. Uh, okay, I didn't think about that move. Uh, okay, let's go back. Do this. And then e3. Just undermine. Well, this represents a target. There's no doubt about that. Oh, I got my queen trapped. Great. <laughs> uh, I have to take. I mean, this is completely awful, but... Wow, he's just going to take. Okay. I'm down a piece and just losing. If I could come back, that would be pretty incredible from this position. It's probably not going to happen, but... Um, okay, let's take. At Check. least now we have an imbalance we can point Check. to and say, hey, this imbalance Check. might give me some hope in the position. Check. Not likely, but... Check. Check. He's already bl blitzing. Check. Check. Gotta pin him. Checkmate. Ah, uh, okay. I probably should have resigned that game earlier. I was just somewhat frustrated for uh, losing my queen in an otherwise great position. So, can't believe it got trapped in the middle of the board like that. The rook d2 was just an awful move. It took away the queen's uh, sole flight square backwards on the diagonal. So, bad luck there. Um, okay, so I'm at 2467. Let's just look at the top game in the pool. Full house versus some other GM. Okay, let's do this. And we'll just play semi-slav. Bishop f4 is kind of weird. That move is usually not so good. I'll do this. I'm going to try to hold on to the pawn. This is my big goal here. Let's just take and go a6. Uh, I think queen c 8s all right. Doing a decent job of holding onto the pawn, I suppose. He's playing it like a pure sacrifice. Oh, he can get the pawn back now. Uh, okay, better take this way. And go here. I'm worse now. Ugh, knight c7. Hate to play this move. Don't think that was such a good idea by him, though. He'll withdraw the bishop now, more than likely. Let's go h6. Let's see if we can trade. I mean, I'm slightly worse now, just because of the weakness of this pawn. But I, I think I have decent counterplay with um, the queens remaining on the board, especially. It's going to make it difficult for him to consolidate the position, consolidate his advantage. Like That hangs a pawn, doesn't it? Check. He has to take it is the best thing. Let's keep the queens on. Let's go here. We'll tuck my check. king on g7. It's a nice square for it. He's trying, Time. To, he's trying to check, check on e5. Check. And that hangs the queen. That's why you gotta love bullet. One second you're getting your queen trap, the next second you're winning their queen. Back in the pool. Shining path again. 
he's letting me obtain a huge center. Let's go here. Don't think this is a good idea for him. Uh, chasing his knight all over the place. He's going to have a rough time completing his development. Practically has to play e6. Now let's do this h4, h5 plan. This presents so many tangible targets. Yeah, he can't castle now because the h6 pawn hangs instantly. Let's do this. Unusual battery on this pawn. Uh, okay, b3 is fine. Uh, okay, let's go queen e4, centralize. Hmm, I was expecting him to try to win that pawn. f4, we're just going to try to barrel through. Ooh, that's a pawn that I did not see. Check. That you could take. Let's go here. Check. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Check. This is awful. We're sacking the house right now. <laughs> I'm down so much material. Time check. Let's do this. And if he takes bishop e5, at least. At least I have that. Maybe I can go f4? Maybe I can go f4? <laughs> oh man. Oh no, I checkmated. I got checkmated. I don't know. I mean, f4 is like my only chance in that position, so... Okay, d5. He's playing sort of strange. Let's go here. Attack his bishop and also hit the pawn on g2. Check. Hitting g2, so this is good. Let's take. Uh, I better go back. Because if I had defended f6, he might have had like knight d4 or something. I didn't like the look of that. That was looking mighty dangerous. Let's give check. it a check. And f6. See if he'll swap. Uh, okay, so idea is knight e7. Gotta do this. Check and him. Ah, oh, man. I'm having trouble holding on to my queen today. Design that game. I'm at 2446. Kinky Luke. This is Luke Vanwelli, I think. Or it should be, based on that name. Looks like we might play some Benoni theory. Let's go bishop f4. Uh, okay, bishop c2. Why not? That's a pawn, right? Maybe I can get into c6. He also might have pretty good comp compensation. Uh, okay, let's go... Boy, how do I deal with all these threats? Not sure. The knight on d4 is hanging, which is unfortunate in a lot of lines. This bishop takes d4. Okay, I'm just going to do this and then attempt to win this pawn, I guess. Oh, my position's bad, though. Rook e8 would have been strong. Maybe I can get my rook up, or my king up to assist. King d4 next move. Something, at least. I think I probably have to just go after his c3 pawn sooner or later. Let's go h4. Just Time. restrict him. Uh, let's go here. Activate the rook. This Check. represents our best hope. Um, okay, let's go back over here. Still likely to lose one of these pawns, like the d5 pawn. Check. Check. Ooh, Check. Don't drop stuff, John. Check. 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 Mm. Check. Check. Ah, got flagged. <laughs> Even after I won that rook, he's pretty fast. Is it Luke Vanwelli? Doesn't say, but he's from the Netherlands, and his name is Kinky Luke. So, very likely. That's pretty fast. I mean, he had three and a half seconds, almost four seconds. 
All right. I'm going to play a few more games, though, and try to get this rating back up. Try to recover somewhat. And ECF again. See if we get something sharp once more. I'll play this Cambridge Springs this time around. Okay, this line is pretty innocuous most of the time. Let's do a plan with an early knight e6, g6, knight g7. Usually they try to break in the center with e4 at some point soon. But uh, for now, he's not doing that. Okay, I'm just trying to exchange some minor pieces. Let's go here. Just try to trade. Like I said, I have a neutralization strategy against this guy. He's got to play e4 at some point. I know he wants to. He's also probably waiting for me to castle so he can start an attack. Now he's playing on the queen side. It's interesting. Interesting and sensible. Hmm. I have an idea. It's an interesting idea. So let's go for it. Check. Okay, let's do this. I'm just trying to swamp him with my pawns, basically. That's about it. It's not clear who this position benefits. I mean, there's some arguments to be made for both sides. Hmm. Let's go here and offer a trade of the queens. I have to watch out for knight d6. I didn't want that to happen. Top. Okay, now I'm going to swamp him with my pawns, like I said. There's some pawn swamping going on. Check. You can take that. It's fine. Check. Check. Yeah, this is decisive. All right, that was a good game. I think I liked how I played that game. Let's see what he has in store. All right, I'm going to do this line that I played in uh, a standard game recently. Oh, he knew what to do against it, knight b6. It's exactly what you want to do. He's going to try to go c5. This is probably something like pretty theoretical, I'd imagine. But that was a waste of time by him. Uh, let's go d6, pawn wedge. He might be able to just um, like surround that pawn and win it, but... I'll make it tough for him, or at least I'll try. He can play bishop into c4, but what, what good does that do? Just go rook e1. Ooh, actually not if he does that. Okay, now I have to sack the exchange. Hmm. Could be tricky for him to handle, though. Let's go here. That knight is trapped, isn't it? Uh, knight into c7? Sure. Yeah, now in order to save... The piece he has to play rook takes c7. So I'll just pre-move this. I was a little fortunate to trap his knight. Uh, so that's, that's interesting. Let's go here. Now he can take there, this is true. But I have to think I have great play now up a piece. So time will be huge at this point. Mm, that was a bad move by me. Get out of this pen first and foremost. And he's going to be very pressed on the clock. Time work. Check. Yeah, he's just down too much time. That's what I said. Like he's prone to like slowing down significantly in some positions. Let's take here this time. Let's see which line he goes for. He's going to play a gambit, of course. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's do this. Sure. Ninety five is looking strong. He opts not to play that. Um. Okay. Let's go here. Bishop d two. I have b four. I guess I'll just try to complete my development if I can. My position is very tied down, though. He can't take on b5. You see this? Like, he's kind of playing a little slow. I mean, the position is complex, there's no doubt, but he's, like, prone to just uh, really significantly slowing down the pace of play. He's, like, trying to find a forced win or something. If he takes on d5, I have to take with my pawn or my knight. Let's take with the knight. It seems better than... 
the pawn capture. I really need that knight out of e6. Need that out of e6 like a bad habit. Okay, let's take... I'm going to run with Check. my king. Because I honestly have no clue what else to do. Ah, oh, man. My king is marginally safe on this square. Not especially so, but... Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. There are mate threats abounding in this position. Time war. Check. 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 Okay. Check. Check. Yeah, this is not going to be sufficient for me to save. All right, I'll resign. I played pretty slow too that game in his defense. Eliana. What do you have in store, Eliana? Are you there? Okay. Budapest Gambit. Uh-oh. <laughs> I faced this in a standard game check. recently, and I had trouble. Not bishop b4 check, though. I don't know about bishop b4 check. This seems pretty good. If we just trade stuff. Yeah, I'm happy with this. At least I'm okay with this happening. Yeah, they can do that and try to recover the pawn. Let's go c5. Because maybe c5 um, makes it tougher for them to... Oh, that's nifty. Hmm, nice tactic. All right, let's do it Check. this way. To be kind of careful now. They have 94 check if they want. All right, so clearly c5 was not a good idea. Hmm, guess I'll play e4. Maybe knight f5 to come? First I have to guard against knight d3. Their position is pretty secure though. I'm down on time as well. Hmm. Yeah, knight a4, check, check, wins material. It's too bad. Check. Check. They will trade. I just have to keep trying to do stuff actively. Check. Create counterplay. At least now I might win the d7 Check. on, maybe. Oh, stop badgering me with these tactics, Eliana. <laughs> they warning. keep coming up with good tactical resources. I'm just trying to play e5 and get some sort of Check. counterplay going. This b3 is pretty much over. All right, I'm going to resign this game. 24-38. Pretty so-so session. I'm down about, oh, I don't know, 12 points or so this session. Okay. This is a gambit that is not held in high regard. Now I'm hitting their knight, so they have to play d3 or something. Okay, let's just keep developing. Um... I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, I assume this has to be nearly winning for me, but I'm not sure about the details. I think I'm going to play bishop e7 next, like if they take on a7. Because bishop e5 was the move I was worried about, but knight takes b5 is possible then. Check. Queen c6. Check. In here. Check. They're going to go knight takes f7 and try to go for um, the corner rook. But given that I have a real good Check. chance to just trap, um, let's see, given that I have a good chance to just trap their knight in the corner, i got to believe that this is almost winning for me. Hmm. Yeah, and the pawn on c2 Check. provides ample compensation, too. Even if I weren't able to win this piece. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to get that knight. Can't take that. Okay, so I got this one in the bag. They resigned, 2453. Play two or three more games. Let's go d4 this time. Benoni. Benoni it is. Okay, bishop d3. I like this line against the Benoni. 
I mentioned it before, but just find it nice to play. They're going to swing their rook over to e7. But what do you do now? That's the problem. So I might be going e5. And I think I win something. Because if they take, it's just real easy to play. Um, yeah, bishop. I mean, now they have to sack an exchange. There's no doubt about that. Let's just go here. That pawn seems super strong. Let's keep that pawn now. Go here and try to take on a6. Once I eliminate the a6 pawn, I can go bishop b5, and that's you know, almost lights out for them. Queen d7, mandatory now. Check. Get to advance my pawn to d7. Knight d6 coming with knight f7 as an idea. We'll spring move this because there's nothing that's going to stop me from doing that. They resign. 2467, NECF once again. He really likes Grinfeld stuff. Check. He's very fond of these Grinfeld positions. Let's go queen over to h4. And then bishop h6 if we can. This is a line. It's an interesting line too. Let's Check. trade. And castle. Uh, bishop h3. Should be h3, he has f5, but I have knight here. He has knight e7, though. Brings his knight all the way back. That's interesting. Okay, let's let's play to cut off his uh, king's retreat. Hmm. I wanted to take on d7 with the rook, but I didn't think it was sound. This knight is bound for e3. Be h4. Try to go h5. Now I want to make sure bishop h6 doesn't bother me too much. Let's double up the rooks. And I can try to get my uh, bishop back in the game. Hmm. He's going to send the knight into f2. For reasons unknown, f5 would be a nice move to get in. Okay, let's take. Active time. Game. Break down this pawn if we can. He has check. rookie eight check. This is check. An annoyance. Check. Hmm. Check. Tactically speaking, this is kind of a weird situation. I don't want to draw. Check. 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 All right, I got him at the end. Mouse moving battle. That was weird. There was some strange lag in the middle. All right, we're going again against NECF. Let's see what he does about some symmetrical English action. Let's see if he plays in the center with D4. He does. Now knight e5, attacking c4. I think I'll try to play for a6 and b5. He's going to try to play for some shutdown setup with uh, f4 coming. Let's go queen a8. It seems interesting to sack here, so I'll do it. Probably he needs to go knight d2. Yeah, and defend. I mean, whoops, that was a mouse slip. Let's go here, and I could try to go b5. So naturally, he vacates. Hmm. Let's go here. It's actually not entirely clear like what either of us do. You can go knight d4. Knight d4 is really annoying. Let's go here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not coming up with good moves right now, unfortunately. Let's go here. Time war. Check. Oh boy, I missed that. All right, I got destroyed that game.
All right, last game of the session against Eliana. They take their time at the beginning. They make full use of their extra 10 seconds that they get added at the beginning. <laughs> Maybe they're away from their keyboard quite, quite often. They're playing this line again. Not a good line. Uh, let's go, let's take it, sure. Now, if they take on f7, I can go knight c6, they can take on f7. This leads to some weird tactics. Yeah, like now I can do this, and I don't know what's going on in this position. It's strange. Let's hide our king, or attempt to hide our king. We'll go king c8. Probably g6, too. A little bit worried about bishop h6. Uh, let's go uh, bishop c5. Maybe knight e4. Maybe I should have brought the bishop to uh, a different square. Yeah, because now they can move their bishop. I'm playing slow this game. I apologize, guys. <laughs> really, that move. Uh, let's just take with the pawn. Check. Huh, knight e4 doesn't work. So I do this. I'm going to go here and hopefully play b4 with knight e4 to come, maybe. Top check. Yeah, this is an interesting move, at least. Ooh, they took that way. Didn't see that. Huh. It's actually a pretty tactical check. ending. Hmm. An ending that's not going to probably Check. end favorably for me. Let's go b3. We'll just run our h-pawn now. This might cost him a minor piece. With our speed advantage. I'm not Check. going to play h2 yet. I'm going to keep that in reserve. Until Check. a better opportunity comes along. Yeah. So. Alright, so let's tabulate the results of the session. I went up in rating a bit from that session. And wow, yeah, I played a lot of games, over 20 games with mixed results. Um, I'll give you guys the exact tabulation. Um, so I'm 2484. I think I started about 2450 something. Was this my first game? Yeah, I think this was my first game. So I played exactly 20 games. Uh, so within that, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wins, a draw, and eight losses. 11 wins, a draw, and 8 losses. Okay, and lots of games against uh, good players, too. NECF in schools, Shining Path, Kinky Luke. So, I think against NECF, I'm just curious how I did. 2, 3, I split there. I think I split with them. Uh, all right, well, I hope you guys are having a good weekend, and I will be back tomorrow with another bullet video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.